The immune system is divided into innate and adaptive immune systems. The innate immune system is the first line of immune response. It is a fast response and acts generally, not specifically. On the other hand, the adaptive immune system has a slow immune response. It is very specific and produces long-lasting immune memory. Now let's focus on the innate immune system. The innate immune system is a highly complex integration of various components. It has three major components. The physical barriers, the cellular components, and the non-cellular components. The physical barriers include the skin with its epithelial surfaces, the gastrointestinal tract with various defense mechanisms such as peristalsis, gastric acid production, and normal flora, as well as the respiratory tract with its cilia and mucus, and many other components of the innate immune system such as tears and saliva. The cellular components of the innate immune system consist mainly of leukocytes which are divided into either phagocytic leukocytes or non-phagocytic leukocytes. The phagocytes who are ready to eat at any time include dendritic cells, neutrophils and macrophages or non-phagocytic leukocytes. Do not engulf the invaders. Indeed, they prefer to destroy them. The list of non-phagocytic leukocytes include natural killers, mast cells and eosinophils. The non-cellular components of the innate immune system includes the complement system and plasma proteins. The complement system is composed of around 30 proteins that are further activated through complicated overlapping pathways. Among different functions of complement proteins are directing the phagocytic and cytotoxic cells toward the invading antigens. Some of the complement enzymes can penetrate and destroy the invader's cell walls. Here is a comprehensive view for the innate immune system. Now let's have a look at the adaptive immune system. The adaptive immune system is composed mainly of lymphocytes, B cells and T cells. Both B and T cells are produced in the bone marrow, but T cells are developed later from thymocytes. There are three types of B and T cells depending on their function. Naive cells, before meeting enemies. Effector cells, in the battlefield. And memory cells, which produce the long-lasting memory. Additionally, the adaptive immune system can be divided into either humoral immunity, which is mainly antibody-mediated, or cell-mediated immunity. The antibodies are produced by B cells, whereas cellular immunity is mediated mainly by T cells. Here is a comprehensive view for the adaptive immune system.